stay out of the rat ski's business or else it'll get worse from here on out. Just who in the bloody hell do you think you are, you wretched little cretin? My name's Richie Steamboat, and I'm here to challenge for your European Championship at Clash of the Champions, so be prepared. Get ready for lesson number one, Sunshine. Don't ever turn your back on an opponent. Relax, guys. We ain't getting ready for a fight right now. We're the ones that are going to be challenging for the Tag Team Championships at Clash of Champions. So good luck, because you're going to need it. It's the Motor City Machine Guns that are going to take them from you. You may have beaten Tyler Rex and Kurt Hawkins, but you aren't going to beat us. as you are wrestling's greatest tag team right now. I'm sorry, but I can't believe these two, Alex Riley and Husky Harris, are going to be facing Tundra at Clash of the Champions. I gotta do something. And wait a minute, what's going on here? And why is Michael McGillicuddy attacking Alex Riley? I would have thought he would have went after Husky Harris. Maybe it's the mess in his head. I don't know. Stay tuned for Clash of the Champions. Husky, 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 you just don't learn. You are just a puppet in my game, and guess what, at Clash of the Champions, you're going to be seeing the genesis of Michael McGillicuddy as I win the television championship. Hey, Dreamer, you got a minute? Yeah, man, what do you want to talk about? I just got through talking with Barney Green, and he approved this match at Table will be you and I for the GWF Universal Championship. That's fine with me. I welcome the challenge against all comers. Looks like this is going to be a triple threat match, and I just got through talking with Barney Green. He added me to the match. I hope you both know what you are doing because the innovator of violence isn't going to go down without a fight, and that's a promise. Tonight in the Bank Atlantic Center in Sunrise, Florida, it's GWF Clash of the Champion. Welcome, wrestling fans, to GWF Clash of the Champion, and we are pumped to be here tonight. I cannot believe it, as you can see, coming up next, we're going to see Brody play take on Rat Titus in the first matchup of the night. Now, these two have had a major feud as of late. So, you can see what happened here. You can see, here he comes, Brody play down to the ring. You can see, as of late, these two have had a major feud between Rat Titus and Matt King backstage as he rejected him. And then you saw what happened there. In first place into our eight now these two are gonna survive. And if I was red kick, I just I try to be very close my mom because that's what's gonna happen to this punk of course I just I just gonna back down. You can tell he's ready for this match. Having a little fun right now, but when he steps into the ring, he becomes a dominant force. Yeah, and tonight it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. So, for so the main event, we got Sean the Dreamer take on Alex Riley and Huxley Harris with the GWF Universal Championship on the line. And you hear, I am pumped to see him right after the ring. I have a chance to go and mess with this man. So, he's not going to cut. Rex Tater, here, as you can see, here he's been ready to come out. Now, and he knows that he's going to be in the ring tonight. Because he's got to expect the unexpected from this guy. He kind of tries to be a lady fan. The fans really don't like him. Okay, can he... The man goes to play big boy and play wonderful. But this match will be simple. This is just a straight up fight. Now, here he comes. He's with the love of Brad Titus. 
went back to the United Express. It's been one time with um, two TVs all worked up where he KO'd a fan who came at him. But this man did successfully in all honesty. Man, is some sort of playboy shoot the world wannabe. Fingers, that's real appropriate. Now let's see what's gonna happen later on. The first play is ready. Now it's gonna get painful. Now these two men will walk up. These two men will take 10 ways. We won an impressive victory there by third play on Black Friday. You know, this is gonna happen. The fans are going nuts as he did all the wrongs right now. He's celebrating in the ring. And folks, as you can see, what a matchup this was. A great draw between these two men, but in the end, the punk is so one. And folks, stay tuned to Billy and Holy. I go backstage. Stay tuned for more action coming up next. At this time, I am back here with Ted Diaz. Now, Ted, you are in a battle role of the television show that you play right now. Can I get your thoughts on it? Tonight is going to mark a new era for me and the Diaz and Posse if I win the television championship. Some strong words there from Ted Diaz. Can he walk away as the television champion? But coming up right now is the European Championship. As you can see, William Regal is coming down to the ring, the current European champion. He's going to have his hands full, though, against this guy, Richie Steamboat, who, uh, who uh, volunteered to take the title shot. He was offered the shot before or earlier by Johnny Firecracker, and he accepted it. But he's going to have his hands full, though, with William Regal, a good veteran, who him and the United Kingdom have been dominating lately. He's the European champion. You got William Rich of um, Drew McIntyre and Wade Barrett. Both are a tag team champion, so who knows what can happen tonight at the Flash. Tonight in Bank Atlantic Center in Sunrise, Florida. These fans are going nuts, though, right now. So here he comes down to ring now, saying that Sharon for Richie's steamboat. You can see here, son of legendary Hall of Famer, Ricky the Dragon steamboat. You can see here, he came with some backup. He came prepared tonight. You can see, you can see Ricky Steamboat's out there. He'll be in his son's corner. Make sure his son gets a fair shot at his belt. But is Ricky Steamboat ready? Who knows? Is he ready for this or will he fall? Tonight, who knows? Only, only people who know are who's in the ring right now going to tell a story tonight. These two men. See here. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen.
what a showdown between these two men. That was an instant classic right there. Steamboat tried, but in the end, Regal somehow pulled out the win. See here, he's celebrating holding his European Championship high up in the air. He did it though. But that's was such a good match, you gotta give credit to the Richie Steamboat. He tried his best, they both put on a show. And it was right down the middle because Ricky Steamboat was there to help his son. But either way we look at it, it was a close match. Now here we come out for our first ever women's championship scramble match. Where the winner will be the first ever women's championship. They got ten minutes. You can see coming down to the ring, Natalia. Whoever wins this match is the first ever women's champion. But she just yeah, losing the championship, but you see Natalia is coming down first. Now, who will win this one? We don't really know. As you see here, this, we decided to expand our horizons a little bit out of women's division to see what we, what can happen. But only time will tell to see what happens with this experiment. As we on the Bernie Green put it, he wanted to add some new talent and get more people watching this, this show. He's trying his hardest. Now you can see who's next. Here comes Maxine down to the ring. As the second person. Who knows? Did she win out as the champion? Could it be Natalia? You got Layla. You've got pretty much you got Caitlin, you got everybody just in out there. This championship scramble match. So here somebody needs to fix that. They're playing the wrong song here. Yes, Raylan, Natalia, AJ, Maxine, and Caitlin are going to be the women's champion. Now, they have 10 minutes. This is a challenge, though. No, I say any championship is going to match the challenge. You can see here, they're getting ready. Whoever walks away champion will be the first champion. Nice. And we're underway with the championship scramble match. Score a pinfall or submission and become the current champion. And whoever has that moniker at the end of this melee will win the title. Oh, she does it again. Big kick echoing around the arena. Caught the leg. Wow. Right to the fist. Look at this. Every move delivered by Natalia is big move coming. Wow, that was a German. Most technically sound diva in the entire WWE. Ladies and gentlemen, the superstar. Oh, out of nowhere. <laughs> Natalia knows a lot of ways to hurt. Submission locked in. Oh, face is tapping. Come on, don't get scared. Let them tear each other apart. One, two. And the shoulder of the superstar comes up. It's Layla. And is she looking good or what? Taking a moment to feel those ribs and King, it appears that there may be some internal Dude. damage. It looks Three. like it. Those ribs have been targeted so many times. Maxine has won it, the first ever women's champion in GWF. 
What a shocking match this was. What a shocking thing to just happen to roll up and tell you right at the right second there. See, she's holding the bell high now. So we'll see what happens next on the journal and we'll see what happens. She'll be in action against. We don't know right now. She'll be in action. Now, coming up next though, we got. We got the 10 man TV title battle royal. You see here, we go in this one. We're gonna become the first ever television champion. Anyhow, he's coming down to ring first. He comes full rotunda down to ring first. And he goes, yes, he might notice something. He looks a little bit like the, one of our current superstars. He is, in fact, the brother of Huxley Harris. He's gonna be here. He was in GWS before he played his return tonight. And after he climbed into the ring. Now, second entering this one, I don't know. Could be anybody. But who wants in has been welcomed in. As you can see here. Here he comes down to the ring. Johnny Curtis. This man has been annoying Barney Green as his way. He's grinded him. And then you can see what's happening with Barry Green. People are thinking it's him behind it. But who really knows? I'm oh, giving the benefit of a doubt right now, but he could be the one that's behind these attacks. Barry Green nearly getting hit by a car, nearly get the car blew up and this other stuff's been happening to him. It's been crazy. But whoever walks out will be totally the champion. Ow. Who knows? You know, yeah, this rumble is going to be entertaining. This 10 man battle royal is coming. Who's the television champion here? They're getting ready to lock up. The Royal Rumble is now officially underway. Oh boy, am I ready for this? You hear how his leg connected? Oh, the elbow connects. Again, this is every man for himself. Which one will win this first leg on the road to WrestleMania? Who's going to enter next? Oh, look at this. Here comes what a hellaciously physical match these gladiators have put each other through. The intensity of this has been incredible. He could be set for a ride. the global phenomenon known as the Royal Rumble. This event is being broadcast worldwide in the United Kingdom and Canada and elsewhere in locations like Australia and Mexico. And of course, to our fighting servicemen and women on the Armed Forces Network. 
gentlemen, the superstar. I think I know who's going to be eliminated next. Again, each one of these men fighting and clawing for their shot at headlining WrestleMania. Uh-oh. Oh, my gosh. Did you see his head? Boy, the time just flies, doesn't it? Heroes. It's Hero. The bad guy saw that coming. Remember, it's over the top rope. Both feet touching the floor. Matches to determine the number one contender for the championship at WrestleMania. And he's still in this. Chester's not playing here. The bad guy escapes that one. Remember, no pinfalls, no submissions. You must throw your opponent over the top rope with both feet touching the floor. Could we be on the verge of an elimination? We saw it all in this match, King. And those repeated blows to the skull have definitely taken their toll. Oh, the hit was intensely focused on, but it definitely took a lot of damage. And Dibios, I believe Ken wants nothing more than the build on his already impressive legacy. Well, that's what we're going to look at. Do you remember when I won the Royal Rumble? You did? I mean... I know you've come close to setting records for at least an out of time in the ring. Hey, come on now, wait a minute. The bad guy. Not this. He's looking at it again. Oh. That's it. He's out. Going for the elimination. Trying to get one step closer to his dreams. job so far of controlling this one. That's it for Chester. Who's coming out next? Trying to put him away. That's it for the real The damage has definitely been done. Now it may just be a matter of time. And for the second time in this match, he could be out of here. And those repeated blows to the skull have definitely taken their toll. Well, oh, here goes the superstar. And there's a fight for survival going on in the corner. Oh, that was close. He's coming back through the ropes. Man, 
this has been a great matchup. Number 10 will be joining us momentarily. It's, we know what this is. to the final three competitors. Is he, is he out? No, he made it back in. Again, the winner of this Royal Rumble match will go on to headline WrestleMania in two months. John Morrison has this unique ability to adapt to his environment. He calls it the parkour style. Yeah, and it's so successful for one reason, because nobody else in the WWE has ever seen it, and they don't know how to counter it. Morrison, big move coming. Hanging on for the second time in this match. And again, another possible momentum shift in this matchup. Oh, this isn't good. Intercepted. Looking to get an elimination. Morrison's been eliminated. An aggressive shot to the midsection. Good Lord, what force, what crippling force off that slam. Ow, that was a serious shot there. Nice catch. Hang on. Just getting dissected. Great reaction. Shot busting him wide open. Ow, hard kick to the ribs. He's in a precarious position. Back and forth. How do these superstars keep doing it? And there goes Hero. Warden wins. And we have a new television champion in Ryback. What a shocker this was. He came in and dominated, and it was down to him and Chris Hero. Who would have thought he would have won? But Chris Hero still has another shot at the belt. So here he's holding his wrist. It was just a shocking victory there by Ryback. If he continues his streak of dominance through GWF, who knows? These two are going to meet up again. You see, here we go for the Tag Team Championship match between the United Kingdom and the Motor City Machine Gun, Ballard Shelley and Chris Saban. The United Kingdom have been dominant. They won the Tag Team Championship.
You know, they've been holding on to those folks, these two men. Wade Barrett and Drew McIntyre. Who would have ever thought two would be dominant in the United Kingdom right now in some control. But William Regal, European champion, and these two men. See, they're coming down to the ring right now. Now the fans are fooling them. The fans do not like these two men too much. Now, you can see here they're entering the entry, but they got a challenge to have them in the 3D team of the Motor City Machine Gun, Dallas, Shelly, and Chris Tate, and those two men are two tough competitors to go against. These two men need their speed. This is going to be power versus speed. How fast can you move and how quick can you get it done? How can you move and how hard can you take a shot? They come running down to the ring here. And there they go. We're getting ready to keep them action. As they're raising up their arms and the fans again behind them. They want to see these two men win. See, they shake hands. Wow. They're getting ready to lock up soon enough. These two men. Can they do it? The Motor City Machine Guns take care of the United Kingdom or the United Kingdom them. Let's go through them. One impressive show in the United Kingdom to continue with their reign of dominance. They seem to be able to stop these two men. But these two men right now are on top of their tag belts. They high five and they're waving the belts high as the Motor City Machine Gun just couldn't get the job done. When Wade Fire hit the wasteland, it was all over. A pinfall. One, two, and three. And you got these two men here holding the belts up pretty high. Now they're standing tall. Tonight is my moment to shine. It's a rise time to go to the top and prove I wasn't just the Mrs. Lapdog and um the triple threat match between me, Tommy Dreamer, and Husky Harris. You'll be seeing a new GWF Universal Champion, and that is me. Cause I ain't gonna back down. I'm gonna go out there and win. I ain't nothing but a simple man, but I'll tell you right now, this simple man is gonna be Universal Champion at the end of it all. And Michael McDowell, honey, I know you are watching this, but I'll tell you right now, I ain't afraid of you either. Because when I become Universal Champion, I want you to try to come after me. I dare you to, but you're not gonna because you're just using your goons right now. Like you used me and Mason. Whenever we meet up in the ring again, it'll be the end of you because I ain't gonna back down and I'll show you why I am the tank with the Ferrari engine. Just like Dreamer and... Alex Riley are going to realize tonight.
and what a show it's been so far tonight. As you can see, we are now entering our main event of the night, the GWF Universal Championship, which is currently held by Tommy Dreamer, Sir D. Michael McGillicuddy. You can see Dreamer is holding the belt right now. And you heard some words there from Alex Riley and Husky Harris. Alex Riley's ready to prove himself, and so is Husky Harris. His Harris is pretty much stuck in the shadow of McGillicuddy last season. But they got to go through a very like Tommy Dreamer. And that could be dangerous if Dreamer get those skills that people underestimate him. But he is there. He's got strength. He's got that veteran skill that people forget about. He's W original. He's in the ring right now. They're the fans are behind him, but they really don't know who to cheer for in this match. You see here, he's ready, but... He's ready for these challenges. You can see here he comes down to ring Alex Riley. Hey, Riley's coming down. The fans are getting behind him too, a little bit of feeling. But there's one man here that's really got to kill the crime. And that's him right there. He is the underdog. But because of Michael McGillicuddy's interference between these two in the final, he don't know who would have really won that match. So it's a big what if in our heads right now, wondering who we would have won. And he's in the ring, he's ready to go. But he's got this man to go through as well. Husky Harris. The brother of Bo Rotundo and the son of Mike Rotundo. He has to hear him come down to the ring. Hey, he is a simple man, but he's willing to fight until his last breath. One thing you can say about him is he will keep going. To prove everybody wrong, he has to see the fans are behind him. He's coming down to the ring, he's climbing in. To the ring, he has the fans are behind him. They're cheering for Husky. Here, here. These three men are gonna fight. Who knows who's gonna win this match up here? See, they're raising the belt up. There's our referee raising the belt up here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, for our main event of Clash of the Champions between Tommy Dreamer, Alex Riley, and Husky Harris. Who will win?
And Harris has overcome the odds here. He is now the GWF Universal Champion. As Dreamer decided to grab a chair, Harris snuck in and took the pinball. And he's the champion. You see, he's raising the belt up past the fans are cheering for him. And who knows? This could be the rise of his career. Here he is. He's at the top of the mound right now. He's at the pinnacle of his career. The Universal Champion, Husky Harris, celebrating. Now, wait a minute, who's this coming out? If he's clapping and celebrating, as you can see here, here's his brother, Bo Rotundo, coming into the ring. And folks, stay tuned for adrenaline, because we are out of time tonight. Nothing personal, but you should have accepted the offer when we gave it to you. Now you're gonna learn like the rest of them. <laughs>